want to say thank you to Zen by Nuvana for partnering with me on this video. I'm going to be sharing all about their vagus nerve stimulating headphones. This has been something that I've been trying out to help promote rest and relaxation, give me better sleep and cognitive function. And I got to tell you, I'm pretty impressed. So stay tuned so you can find out more about how this new technology works and how you guys can also try it for yourselves. Now here's the thing about this self-care Sunday routine. There's nothing drastically different than a typical day off for me, except I'm being extremely intentional. I mean, these are things that I maybe even wrote down beforehand to make sure that I got them in. It's a, it gives me time to just be meticulous, put a little bit more effort into even the simplest tasks, just because there's something about it that feels good. I drink water every day, first thing in the morning, but today I wanted it in a mason jar and I wanted freshly squeezed lemon. Don't do that every day, but today was different. I also went and added a little splash of cranberry juice, which is actually um, very good for you. So I just like that. And then also added some frozen berries. So I just think it's like, why not make your drinks pretty if you're having a self-care day? Like we're going to go all out here and everything is going to be extra and particular because that is how it should be when you're trying to have a self-care day. I will always kind of be doing this as my coffee is brewing and typically I unload the dishwasher. I've talked about that in morning routines before, but this whole kind of coffee, hydration, vitamin supplementation happens pretty much around the same time or simultaneously. The vitamins that I take currently are pretty scarce. I'm not super into doing a bunch of stuff right now because I'm in a situation where I'm just trying to not change too many variables. So I take a probiotic for my gut health. Um, I've kind of been cycling in and out of lion's mane, which is just an adaptogenic herb. I also take D3 during the winter time when I'm not as exposed to as much sunlight. And I find that that really does help my overall health and mood and just kind of how I feel throughout the year. Um, but again, these are just things that work for me and you should definitely talk to your doctor before trying any type of new supplement. I would be lying if I said that coffee was not one of my first thoughts in the morning because it 1000% is. And I'd like to do just your basic, brew your coffee, add your frothed almond milk, you guys have seen the whipped cream situation, but today it was a little bit warmer and I was kind of feeling like having a frothy, yummy, creamy latte. And this is something that I do on Sundays because I typically like to push my food back a little bit later and do a bit more of a intermittent fasting on the weekends. So having something that, and again, it's not a true fast because there there's calories in this, but Basically, I just don't eat a meal right away um, because I'm not as regimented. I'm not like trying to get to the gym, trying to do work. Like I have time to just kind of chill. So to make a cold, basically bulletproof coffee, what I do is add some coconut oil. You can add MCT oil and then I use stevia and whatever kind of non-dairy milk I have on hand. Today, I think I ended up using macadamia nut milk, the unsweetened version. And then I just blend it up and pour it over ice. Add some cinnamon because cinnamon is a great blood sugar stabilizer. And I think that there are so many benefits to adding herbs, which we can talk about later. But that is how you make my frothed ice latte. So while I am enjoying my hydration and my coffee, a little caffeine, a little hydration goes a long way. I like to do my devotional and journal. Now, this is something that I'm pretty routine about anyway, but I'm not thinking about the next task. I'm not thinking about going to the gym or the laundry or anything like that. I'm just freely writing, reading my book, doing the things that bring me joy. I find that changing up the environment is really important. So instead of going to my desk where I do all of my work, which is more um, like stimulating it promotes me to check my email it makes me want to look at my budget i like to sit on the floor in different stretching positions and it just kind of changes it up breaks up the monotony it allows me to stay in a creative zone versus thinking about work and that's just a little tip for you guys so if you have a separate space where you can do this i highly recommend doing that 
Taking time to stretch is something that I am absolutely terrible about. And every year, one of my goals is to go to yoga at least once a week. But when I actually don't do that, we are pretty routine. And actually, credit to Kyle, he has got me being more cognizant of stretching, especially as weightlifters. The fact that I don't do it every day is crazy. So take a little extra time and I get it done and it's very helpful. Now you guys know I'm all about finding new ways to improve our recovery, reduce stress, anything that's really geared towards bettering ourselves, you guys know I'm all about trying. So when I was asked to try out these new Nuvana Zen headphones, which are a vagus nerve stimulator, which I've heard about before, but never done a ton of research on, it really got me interested. Now, when you are listening to something that is stimulating the vagus nerve it correlates with better sleep improved mood increased focus and i was like all right let's give this a try so i was super stoked when i got to try out this new zen headphones now everything comes in a very well organized box the instructions are super easy to follow and the setup is very simple so no worries it's not a super complicated thing anybody can do this and this is definitely going to be a part of our daily recovery because the benefits were wild and i was definitely i'm not gonna lie i was a little bit of a skeptic but once i actually was able to feel the whole vagus nerve stimulation i was like okay i'm i'm on board i am sold like this is pretty cool and what's amazing is that it safely and gently stimulates your vagus nerve while you listen to your music. It can improve sleep, reduce stress and anxiety, brighten your mood, and it's a great way to boost wellness. You can sync it to your music libraries on Spotify and Pandora and most other streaming apps. You can also sync it to ambient sounds around you. So basically it can pick up the sounds around you and relay those back into the headphones for you. It's very portable, the lightweight design, makes it purse and pocket friendly if you want to take it with you and it works on android and ios the vagus nerve is a communication pathway between the brain and most major organs in the body so by having vagus nerve stimulation it's sending a gentle electrical signal to part of the vagus nerve located in your ear which promotes relaxation so when i set it up did the whole thing started playing the different frequencies and i could feel it in my ear it was a game changer i was like all right you know what we're gonna keep this going and give this a try. So this has been a part of my relaxation routine. You can do this like while you're hanging out, coloring, if you're into that, drawing, I know I am, reading, meditating. If you're trying to wind down before bed, this would be a great time to use it. If you're into like listening to wave sounds, oceans, um, white noise, rain, you can um, you know sync it. So that way you're getting the benefit of relaxing sounds, but the vagus nerve stimulator is going as well. And Zen was invented by a top surgeon who was very passionate about enhancing well-being through technology and making the benefits of VNS accessible to everybody. And I think that's what's so cool is that this is a science and a practice that was done medically and is now offered to us, which is really, really cool. And the thing that I liked the most about it was the better sleep. So improving our sleep before bedtime, you'll find a lot of different things out there for promoting sleep, but this is such a natural way to do it. And I also love this in combination with my red light bulbs. It is like the most relaxing thing ever. Definitely give it a try. If you guys would like more information about the Zen by Nuvana, you can click the link in my description box for more information. Check it out. Let me know what you think. Have you ever heard of vagus nerve stimulation? Is this something that would be up your alley? Are you into any of these recovery tactics that are good for stress and sleep? I would love to know because this is totally something that I tend to nerd out on. One of my favorite pastimes that is something that has been kind of a passion of mine since I was a kid was art and doing things that are creative. So whether I'm sketching, painting, building something, doing a DIY project, that creative outlet has always been something that makes me extremely happy. And I always find that incorporating art is something that is so mindless in the best way possible. So I always like to try to incorporate this, whether I'm listening to a podcast or have YouTube streaming in the background, doing a little sketching always is a part of my self-care routine. Environment's a big one too, so I like to make sure that my space is clean. So if I have to take a little bit of time to clean up, I'll do that. I will light a candle, play some music, you know, whatever kind of gets me feeling good, I will do that.
After this, I will typically go for a walk. I think getting outside is so important for so many different reasons besides the benefits of just walking for your physical body, being outside in nature, just unplugging, hearing the birds, hearing the, you know, trees, you know, move in the wind as cliche and cheesy as it sounds. It is so helpful. And on the weekends when we can get in longer walks and maybe even drive to some place that we don't usually get to see, I absolutely love it. So me and Kyle took a nice walk in a park that was like 30 minutes from our house. And it was so nice to just be in a new outside environment. And I absolutely love incorporating this. Now, ever since I was a little girl, my mom has been super into essential oils and aromatherapy. And I can remember f literally some of my first memories with her were like listening to Enya and she would do like at home spa stuff with us. And so I've always been really into making my own body scrubs and different blends and things like that. Not only is it more cost effective, but it's better for you, better for the environment. It's less waste. And this is one of my favorite rubs. So you're going to need equal parts of brown sugar. You can use regular sugar if you want, and you can also do this with just salt. It's totally up to you, but you need something that is going to be for exfoliating. So I used a third cup of brown sugar and a third cup of salt. I also melted some organic coconut oil. You can use refined if you don't wanna to have to deal with you know, melting it, but I used one third cup and you can kind of make the texture however you want. If you want something a little bit more coarse, then you know use less oil. If you want something a little more liquefied, use more oil. It's totally up to you. But just get this melted and then add it to your sugar salt mixture. Castor oil has been known for a long time to be a really great conditioner. And I find that it is like the perfect addition to a body scrub. And I feel like it's not talked about a ton when it comes to body scrubs. You hear a lot about jojoba and shea and coconut but castor kind of gets like thrown to the wayside. So I like to add castor oil. I find that it is like the best like little secret. <laughs> so I add that as well and give it a good mix. You can also add fresh coffee grinds to this. So when I say grinds, I mean like fresh coffee that hasn't been brewed yet. If you want it to have a caffeine effect to this and also smells really great. Um, but you can add essential oils as well. I like to do peppermint because I typically take my showers in the morning when I want something really invigorating. So the peppermint oil would be a fantastic addition. But then I just put it in a glass jar and keep it in my bathroom. You could also keep this in the fridge if you're worrying about it spoiling. Um, but I don't make super big batches so that way I don't really have to worry about it spoiling too quickly. Depending on the day, sometimes these self-care days are hair wash days and self-tanning days, but today I just wanted to make sure that I got my skincare routine done because I tend to get super stoked on a routine. I do it pretty, you know, religiously, and then I start to kind of falter with it. And so today I did a cleanser, I double cleanse, I did a mask, and then used my... Um, favorite gentle toner as well as my vitamin C serum and eye cream and then a good SPF moisturizer and I just make sure that I get that done and it's like one more thing that I'm like okay good job Hale because you know you only get one face. I don't know about you guys, but I am somebody who will go out of their way to go to really cool grocery stores. So I made sure to hit up my favorite little spot. It's a local, it's a health food store, and they had so many great fruits and veggies available. And so I did a good old stock up. I think our food is another huge part of self-care and being a holistic nutritionist and meal prepping all the time, our food can get pretty monotonous. You know, we eat a lot of chicken and steamed veggies, things that are easy to prepare and just are technically already prepared. So I like to take a little bit more time, be a little bit more extra, put together something really nutrient dense that I might not have time for during the week, but is going to be super satisfying. So for lunch, I had a, some grilled chicken and I wanted to make a salad, but I wanted to make it really nutrient dense, do a little homemade dressing, 
um, I added some uh, green beans and some hemp seeds and pumpkin seeds and just kind of made it like really nutrients, um, nutrient dense and delicious. It was very satisfying. Now, typically, or as of lately, Kyle works on the weekend. So sometimes I'll do this like on a Tuesday, if that ends up being like our weekend. Um, it just kind of depends. So it doesn't have to be on a Sunday. You can make it work with your schedule. But I typically like to do this when he is at work, just because it allows me to kind of focus on all these things. But I will typically do some reading and just hang out until he gets home from work and then we'll cook dinner and spend time together. But that was my self-care Sunday routine. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this and can take some things and try to implement them into your own self-care routine. If you guys want to try the Zen headphones, which I highly recommend, I will have a link down below for you guys to check it out. Don't forget to subscribe and follow along on social and I will see you guys in the next video.